Welcome back to a brand new video today, guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 1981 to 1987 GMC Chevy square body. Um, there are a couple different ones here we're going to look at. So we have a gas version and a diesel version. As far as the gas version, comes with four different engines, one diesel engine, automatic and manual, and two and four wheel drive. So this one right here is the Scottsdale with a diesel uh, dually. We also have the gas. This is a C10. This is a C or K30, both two and four wheel drive options. So as far as pricing, they are both going to start out at $6,700. And there are tons of different customization options. We've shown a few of the two different diesel options there. And as far as gas engines, we have the 250 inline six automatic and manual, the 305, the 350, and the 454. Like I said, the C and K series trucks for both two and four wheel drive. And we have tons of different wheel and tire options as far as bigger tires and all the way up to the dually. And as far as branding, like I've mentioned at the beginning, we have both Chevrolet and GMC. And different ones in between. We can also get a plow set up and remove that air dam on the front there. As far as trim, we can get different hood ornaments and body moldings. Personally, my favorite is with all of them on there. And as far as mirrors and lights, we've got factory options. We have the towing mirrors, the factory third, towing third brake light, and cab lights, as well as different towing options too. As far as dealer options, there are a ton of customizable dealer options. As you can tell, it adds bag bags in the back. It adds a sun visor, cab handles, and whatnot. As far as the front end, we've got bumpers. We can add bumper guards, basic grill guards, the KC guard, bug visor, different combinations of all the above. And as far as steps to get into the truck, we've got a couple different styles, including mud flaps. You can have plates or just not. As far as exhaust, what the truck sounds like, we have a factory. We have a factory dual shotgun straight pipe cherry bombs and factory with a cb and as far as bed options this truck does come with a couple different bed options and you can also add the tlx bed options as well and have single or dual fuel tanks as far as color customization we can have tons of different color customizations just whatever you are feeling like you want as well as interior customization and different rim customizations of the truck let's go ahead and take a look at the different bed options we do have a removable cm field bed a field box the dual rear and single rear wheel flat beds we've seen these beds uh, actually on other mods as well, as well as hotshot beds and removable single and dual rear wheel service boxes. As far as the square body box, that's the one I'm most interested in. We've got both Chevrolet, GMC, and the fancy versions of them as well. We can also have multiple different bumper and tailgate options, as well as single and dual fuel tanks. As far as mud flaps, there are a billion different options for whatever you prefer. Trim decals, we can add all types of different combinations, as well as different steps on the actual bed itself. As far as the tailgate badge, we also have the 6.2 diesel version, as well as additional plates that we can add. As far as attachers, it's the same thing as other trucks that are similar, different hitch options in and out of the bed, as well as a topper, CB whips, tailgates, headache rack, and rollover bars. You can as well change the 
color of the bed and the color of the inside of the bed as well, as well as the topper color. And I guess I missed this one. You can actually have dual fenders as well, obviously. So we'll go ahead and hop out of here. Let's hop in the Chevrolet with the 454 in it. We're gonna go ahead and run it without a bed. This truck has a top speed of 90 miles an hour. It looks like the suspension does flex and the interior is actually pretty good, I do have to say. And has absolutely zero issues getting up to that top speed of 90 miles per hour. So that is the 454 option. option. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 62 diesel version. This one does have a top speed of 80 miles an hour and actually handles interestingly, but that is just fine. I gotta say that both of these trucks are amazing looking. The mirrors do work as well as the same interior and a very good view out the back of the truck. Suspension once again does work. So let's go ahead and get this one back to the shop and we'll do a small towing test. All right, so we've got a couple of Massey Ferguson medium-sized tractors hooked up to this gooseneck trailer. As you can tell, it does hook up. Looks like potentially a little bit of squats. We've got a very heavy load here. Let's go ahead and see how this does towing it. The truck appears to lean with the weight and does phenomenal getting up to speed with this heavy of a load. And <laughs> like a lot of these vehicles, it will roll if provoked. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the links for the, it in the description down below. And like always, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification for more videos like this. And thank you guys for watching.